Hello everyone, I am FDA. And I'm Smoothies. And we're here to do a uh, very special LP of a very special game. 20th Century Fox, the game. I just, I love this game, the crappy VHS graphic. Get the fuck out of here. And we're here to do uh, Alien Isolation. Sega. Yep, this is uh, the good Alien game that Sega made. Not the bad one. Not the bad one. This is not Alien Colonial Marines, which I just picked up in England for two pounds. I feel I was overcharged. <laughs> yeah, this game is uh, beautiful. I, I, uh, before this game came out, I was following it on all social medias that I could so I could find out everything about it because I was incredibly fascinated by it. Mm. What's cool is uh, the head tracking and noise detection that you just saw me skipping and turning off. Yeah, uh, so so Steven, are we, we going to play this on hard mode? Ooh, we're going to play this on nightmare no. mode. Nope, we're going on easy. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> so, this shit on easy. <laughs> so, so the head tracker and noise removal, um, they just turned off. What, what, what do those do? They, um, they, if you have a PS4 camera thing, whatever it's called, it will literally watch your head. And if you tilt your head, your character will tilt its head and then you can look around corners and stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh. But noise detection is pretty dumb. If you have a microphone, if you make any noise at all, that'll alert anyone else. So I guess it's like if you want to add extra difficulty to it. So if you have a dog... <laughs> Yeah, um, so yeah, I've been following this game since it since like like six months before it came out, like when they started to tease everybody about it. And I was fascinated by it because Final the alien, like, it doesn't follow a set path or anything. Mm -hmm. Like, it has its own artificial intelligence, and it and it's yeah, always yeah, trying to good. find you. <laughs> now, what's cool about that is uh, <laughs> it makes the game really hard and really scary. <laughs> Unless you play on easy mode. Yeah, so I was recording this um, months ago, and I was playing on hard, and I noticed that I was hiding a lot. Like, hiding a lot so I could avoid the alien and everything else that was trying to kill me. And I was like, yeah, this is really boring. <laughs> I don't think people want to see me hiding under a desk or behind this chair or in this closet. So... I decided I'd record this one on easy mode, and I am so happy that I did because there's some pretty derpy moments. I'd say this, what we're hearing now, this little monologue, mm -hmm. um, this is actually, uh, this is Sigourney Weaver um, reprising her role as Ripley. It's the, the dialogue is exactly the same as Ripley's, as what Ripley ends the movie Alien with. It's after she's finally defeated the alien. It's, it's the last kind of uh, um, um, recording she gives before she goes into hypersleep, um, hypersleep feeling like Bob. But um, it's not this, it's not the actual audio from the movies here. We recorded it because actually just before we started, I played both back to back, and it's actually a different recording because I'm, I'm a nerd. Well, <laughs> yeah, this game takes place uh, between Alien One and Two, or it's Aliens. It, it, this this uh, movie takes place 15 years after Alien. That's right. Because <laughs> and this character here, Amanda Ripley, is of course uh, Ellen Ripley's daughter. Yep. And uh, <laughs> she's been working like near where the Nostromo disappeared because she's like, you know, like, what the fuck happened to my mom? <laughs> 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 so she's like, you know, trying to find out like, what happened to my mom. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen the first Alien film, some of this won't make sense. So go. Wait, what do you. Do? Turn, turn this off. <laughs> go watch it. <laughs> we, should, we should just put a graphic up and come back soon. Come back soon. <laughs> We'll we'll be here. We'll pause the video. Go go and come back. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. So, Stephen, we got about two hours to kill. So, how's your day going? <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> not not so good, but now it's pretty good. <laughs> I always felt that like as I, I've been playing this on the PS3 version, I want to upgrade to the PS4 version. How do these? So there's something. There's something kind of uh, yeah, Look, stiff please. about the these models. Uh, there's a reason for that. The bodies have motion tracking, but the faces, I believe, are hand animated. Yeah, so the faces didn't have like tracking animation on them, so like the faces look pretty weird. <laughs> but um, on the PS4, when the game first came out, these cutscenes they gave all the these. This is not pre-rendered. They gave all these characters like way too much detail, and the frame rate was fucking horrible. So they finally put out a patch where it would run smoothly. So. <laughs> We're gonna make the graphics look worse. If only they did that for Sonic Unleashed, then you know. 
Maybe Jungle Joe, I wouldn't play like shit. Yeah, just you know, make it not look so good, so at least play the game. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Amanda's working near where the Nostromo disappeared, and you know she's like always, you know, waiting to hear about, you know, like maybe someone heard something about Nostromo. She's always on the Nostromo wiki page, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Nostromo wiki leaks. <laughs> yeah. um, and now this dude from the company's like, hey, uh, you know. Uh, Nostromo flight recorder was found. I, I I don't know if you're interested in that. <laughs> Probably yeah. go go listen to it. <laughs> what are you stupid? <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, Welcome A Ripley, not the Ripley, but A Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I like when I'm in when I'm playing stealth games. I like to get as much stuff as I can, so I can build as much stuff as I can, so I can use it as much as I can. Mm. Oh, look at these shoes! You gotta start off your day by putting your shoes on. <laughs> you gotta just Why put won't... your foot in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like her foot, her foot, and the shoe are, are like the same kind of charged magnet. So it's just repelling it away. No, please come back to me, shoe. <laughs> Please tell me the whole LP is just you should have put your <laughs> snipper on. Yep. No, we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you're asleep for six weeks, right? You, yeah, your, your shoes just stop flying away when you try and put them on. Um, anyways, Samuels, he's from the company. And he's like, hey, uh, uh, there's this flight recorder from Nostromo. It's on this space station called the Sevastopol. Let's go check it out. And she's like, yeah, all right. You can tell this is a Sega game because they put in a random shower, just like in a Kinoopolis. <laughs> Why isn't Tails looking at me, though? Someone make, someone make a mod where Tails just watches <laughs> Amanda Ripley in the shower. I'm just going to take me a poop. <laughs> You kick the side. The same broke good for me. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> How is the one and only toilet broken? <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Get inside. So, yeah. Uh, now that we're dressed, I think it's uh, time to go take another shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Squeak. I mean, my clothes, I didn't wash them, but now they're clean. <laughs> I didn't take them to the dry cleaners after I went into hypersleep. There's all these terminals. Um, I'm just going to be going through them, but if anybody wants to read them, they can just pause and check them out. They offer a lot of actually really cool backstory on the game. Yeah. Which I forget today because uh, um, I, I one thing I love about this two things I really love about this game is is the uh, the kind of the design of it. It's I mean 20th Century Fox pro uh, provided um, Creative Assembly, the company who may actually made the game, with so much kind of um, like behind the scenes material and like production notes from from a from the first Alien movie to kind of where they got as close to as as re you know as close to fitting into that world as they could. And this just visually I love the look of this game on the sound design is is mwah. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a very good game. Uh, no, Even though it's made by Sega, there's no Hedgehog engine. Still made it look pretty <laughs> damn good. <laughs> Only Sonic Team may have the Hedgehog engine to use. Even though they made it for other companies to use. But see how well that went over? <laughs> no, one, no one wanted to use it. <laughs> because everybody else made their own. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm not going to use something called the Hedgehog engine. What am I, six? I always loved the name, the Nostromo. I've always thought was a was a pretty sweet name for a ship. Yeah, it sounds all right. Right now we're riding a ship called the Torrens. It's kind of it's okay. See stuff like that. I mean, like that. The um, maybe just dismissed it, but the, with that kind of stretcher was going into that um, screen is is the thing they used to um, scan um, the facehugger. When, when it first jumped, I, I forget the character. I think Devon, when he first jumps on that character's face in, in Alien, Ash um, puts him in there to kind of see exactly what's going on. Yeah. Alien stole that from um, uh, uh, one of the Sonic comics that Ken Penders wrote. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we're not really talking about it, but Ken Penders actually wrote and made everything in this game. All right, so 
Yeah, Samuels is from the company. This is Taylor. She's from uh, Wayland Utani. Has that ever been mentioned in any Alien films? Uh, oh, the, the the Wayland Company is yeah. The Wayland Company is is, is, is the, like the main. It's almost like the acne company of, of the Alien franchise. Okay. Like, but it's like most of the things that happen is, is because of the Wayland Company. All right, yeah. So she's from there, and uh, they're basically sending her out to go to Sevestival to find the flight recorder. And I don't think Taylor even knows why. They're just like, you, you go get this. Go get it now. <laughs> well, the thing, that, that's the thing, though. Again, I wish you probably just say we're going to be talking. Uh, throughout this LP, we're going to be talking a lot about the Alien franchise, and there will be spoilers ahead but you know so that the waiting company is the company they work for an alien and um unbeknownst to the crew aside from ash their mission is actually to, to land on on the um, alien planet and collect a a face hugger to to bring back as a specimen so so they can try and i guess you know learn more slash weaponize the alien so and, 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 um, at this point you know, obviously obviously they wouldn't make that public after the nostromo blows up at the end of Alien, and so I guess at this point, no one knows. Uh, one, no one knows really, you know, that aliens exist. Nobody knows that why the, even the Nostromo. They, all they know is that the Nostromo went missing. They don't even know that it blew up. Yeah, because yeah, because at the end of um, the movie, it literally blows that sucker up. Yeah. <laughs> with a with a bare hand, she just punches it seven thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's that's one thing that I wish that uh, Alien did differently. Instead of having uh, a ma- uh, instead of having Ripley transform into the Werehog, you should have just had Knuckles in there, <laughs> right? <laughs> Alien isolation and Knuckles. Somebody make a mod with a first person view of Knuckles, and he just punches the alien every time he sees him. Yeah. Also, st- stuff like this, I I I think they can they kind of emulate. The start, the start of the first like 15, 20 minutes of, of Alien, it's, it's really, it's by by today's movie standard, it'd be classed as slow, but it doesn't feel slow. It just builds somewhat what uh, atmosphere and and characters in, sl- in a slight way. And I think Isolation mimics that pretty well. Uh, considering at the quickest you could beat this game in maybe six hours, I would just yeah, it would have to start off slow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess the the build up would have to be three times as long, which it is. <laughs> I guess, I, I love that all, all the technology. It looks like you know, it, Alien was made in like seventy eight, seventy nine, seventy nine, and so when it came out, came out seventy nine. So it was made in like seventy seven. But I love the fact that all of the technology, it looks like 90s, 70s, yeah, so all like the, the monitors are like like small, crappy, like... Uh, block. CRT. Yeah, like, I love that, that they, they kept that look for this game. It's it's very good. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's as if, it's as if uh, we had discovered um, space, light, space flight before we discovered uh, broadcast TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is from, from my alternate version of, of humanity where we could travel to to the stars before we got flat screen hd televisions so it's when we were able to travel to jupiter before we could even like comment and subscribe those were dark, good stuff those were dark days <laughs> <laughs> the first viners on mars were very happy so we've gotten to sevastopol station where the flight recorder is but there, but nobody's responding to us from the station and we can't even dock so we're just like, all right, fuck it. We're we're gonna attach a rope from our ship to the station <laughs> and climb over. <laughs> There's no possible way this would go wrong, though, is there? But yeah, none of this is pre-rendered, and I think it looks fucking amazing. PS4 is a beautiful machine. Yep. Yeah, again, that, that, that's kind of another reason why I wanna get the PS4 version and finish that because there's certain uh, sections later on where you say that you see the alien for the first time and um, PS3 version don't, don't look so good <laughs> Does it, it, it doesn't even like animate when it comes it's just like I'm here now <laughs> it's yeah like I'll, I'll get to it. I think it's in mission 3 when it appears but yeah I'll, I'll talk more about what happened there when we get there I don't like how this is edited because it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. It's like, oh no, there's a big thing. Uh, now we're oh, oh what? Okay, I grabbed this rope. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I don't know. It was bad, I think. Fuck you, Wally. Get out of here. <laughs> 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 we just see Wally in the back and go, Wally. Law. 
feel bad for that girl in the glasses. She was scared. Now she's dead. <laughs> I want to say stuff, but I'm not going to spoil. Uh, we'll spoil the movies, but not the game. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. One thing that bothers me about this airlock is that air starts pouring out of the walls before the doors close. Like, that's that's a waste. 